Good afternoon, Bug Fam. Once again, it's your boy, Bug, and I got another video for you guys today. Today's video, once again, is being shot at work, which is Top Line Sales. This is our garage. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are growing fast, and why not even get growing any faster? So, subscribe and be part of the bug fam. Today's video is going to be on the Cummins again. We're doing a free modification. No, I didn't get anything for free, but it's just something free you can do to your truck that makes it sound so good. Okay, so I washed my truck yesterday, and I've said this before in previous videos. Every time, and this is no joke, every time I wash my truck, it rains the day after. Now, I mean, it's not too bad. You can really only see it on the windows. Um, I guess that is one nice thing about having a white truck is when it does get rained on, it doesn't look as dirty. But, you know what doesn't look good on a white truck? That, you guessed it, bird <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta give it to the bird, whoever decided to take a crap on my truck. At least he didn't leave it on the windshield like they usually do. He kinda, you know, left it on the bumper tucked up by the headlight. Oh, I just touched it on accident, whoops. Okay, before I get too carried away talking about birds crapping on my truck, we're going to jump into this video and we gotta start with going under the hood because that's where this modifi modification is going to be done. Uh, you gotta love that squeaky door. Every Dodge I've had has had a door squeak. You know what I mean? I guess I could put some WD-40 in there, but kind of like the sound. Ah, uh, gotta love brand new hinges. Since I just had, you know, a 25, pretty much 30 minute drive from my house to where I work, um, like normal, it is pretty nice and toasty in the engine bay. So I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit. Probably run over to the gas station or Starbucks or something, I don't know. I, it's early in the morning and I have not had my coffee yet so I'm not fully motivated to do anything. So I need to go get something. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Snap-on for coming through and hooking it up with some shirts and some hats. Thinking about giving away some of these, let me know if you'd be interested in like a Snap-on hat or something um, and maybe I can just hook you up. But yeah, Snap-on is definitely the way to go. Um, I've had a lot of people like give me a ton of awesome compliments on this box. This is my dad's toolbox, but it is the like pretty silver color with the anodized red. Um, you guys, I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of my other videos. All right, so I decided to just go over to 7-Eleven instead of Starbucks since it is right next to our dealership, you know, our work. And yeah, so we're gonna run in, see if I can get me something good to snack on or drink. Bug fam already knows what's going down. We getting some chocolate milk. Let's see, we have, ooh, 1% low fat. Now we ain't doing that. We gotta get that whole milk, true moo. I know this isn't Starbucks chocolate milk, but it'll have to do for today. Okay, chocolate milk and donuts have been acquired for today. I did wanna get some coffee or something to really wake me up. But if you're part of the bug fam, you already know I love chocolate milk. Yes, this isn't Starbucks but it's true moo, it's the next best thing. Truck should be cold enough now that's been sitting for about 30, 45 minutes, so now we can crawl in there and start taking off that silencer ring. Today's video calls for taking off the silencer ring on my turbo, which is right down there, so we're gonna take off the air intake, just to make this a little easier so we can get to it. And then we're gonna pull off the silencer ring. My brother had, what year was your 112 valve, a 98? 98, yeah. Yeah, he had a 98 12 valve and we did this to his truck. And this was like two, it was like almost a, two years ago. And we did this to his truck and it sounded so good. The whistle was really loud. And I completely forgot about doing it to this truck. So that's why we're doing this today. Well, that's, it's like kind of rainy out keeps coming on and off, so it gives us some free time. Look at the restriction on the stock intake. That's definitely something this truck needs. So intake is off. Now we just got to pull the silencer ring out, which you guys will see here shortly. 
and then it should sound pretty freaking good. That's also such a tiny little turbo compared to my last truck. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, the truck I had before this had compound turbos. So it had about that size turbo spilling up a 71 millimeter turbo. And it, that truck sounded good, performed good. But this one, like I said, is still, it's just a little stock guy. All right, so we used this and this to get the C-clip off. And then now that that is off, it's down there somewhere it fell. You can re reach in and grab the silencer ring, which is this right here. Maybe it'll want to come out, there we go. That's all it is, that's all you're taking out. That's what it looks like, so if any of you guys want to do this. And obviously this is called a silencer ring for a reason, because it silences the sound of the turp ski making awesome noises. And we want to hear those noises. We want to hear what that turbo has to say. So all you have to do is take this stupid thing out. So now that that is out, we just got to put the intake all back together, which will take about two seconds. And then we can start it up. This is just a free modification that if you're feeling like doing something to your truck today, but if you don't have any money or you don't have time to go buy something, just do this to your truck if you haven't already. It's free. It takes like two to five minutes, if that. You just gotta pull off the intake and then get the silencer ring out and you're good to go after you put it back together. But yeah, this is a good modification for you guys to do. No, it's not gonna add any crazy horsepower. No, it's not gonna make my Cummins roll coal. It's just gonna make it sound really good. Another really good thing to do while you have, you know, your intake off and you can see the compressor wheel of the turbo, you know, move it around, make sure there's no shaft play. It's just something good to check up on and you're already right there, you might as well do it. So I checked mine, shaft play, there was none, so that's good. All right, everything is back together, ready to go. Another great thing about Dodge trucks is look how just simple and easy they are to work on. Like literally, the turbo's right there, and I've said this before, it's just so nice, like a Duramax, it's just not easy to get to the turbo or a power stroke, so that's why, that's why I'm in love with these Dodges, you know? Okay, so my brother's gonna hop in my truck and he's gonna start it up and you guys are gonna be able to hear what this sounds like. That sounds so good. The, the whistle now is a little more high pitched. You can hear it spooling up and down. Um, right now I'm gonna hop in the truck and we're gonna go for a drive inside the cab and see how it sounds from in there. how to bang some gears in the old dually. Ooh, she sounds good. Yeah, there you guys have it. Silencer ring has been pulled out of the 2005 Dodge 3500 Cummins turbo diesel engine. Sounds amazing. Ah, but yeah, it sounds really good in person. I'm stoked on it. And like I said, guys, it was a free 
modification that took about two to five minutes, if that. If you guys think that my Cummins sounds amazing, make sure you put a thumbs up and like this video. Before this video comes to an end, here is today's Instagram shout outs. I hope you all just enjoyed today's Instagram shout outs. If you ever want your vehicle featured in one of my future vlogs, all you have to do is some simple steps. Go to my Instagram, which is bug underscore BMX. It'll be placed right here. Follow me on Instagram and then send me a message or a direct message of your vehicle. It can be a car, a truck, a motorcycle, a horse, whatever it is, it's like your daily driver. Send it to me and I will be putting it in future vlogs and I do five every video and I just scroll through and I pick randomly. And I'm also curious to know what my followers, you know, the subscribers, you guys, AKA the bug fam, I wanna know what all of you guys drive. So scroll down, you know, into the comments. I'll wait like, all right, now that you're probably down in the comments, you scroll down, comment what you guys drive. I'll be going through and I'll replying to like almost all of you. I will do my best, but comment and let me know what you guys drive. I'm curious to know what the Bug Fam drives. So comment below right now and do that. And just like that guys, this video is now coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you think it sounds great. And then I have a ton of more videos planned for this next week. Um, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for always watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.